All right, welcome back. So today we've got a pipe wrench that we're going to, uh, we borrowed from a neighbor who was uh, kind enough to let us borrow it because I didn't have anything that would get the uh, cylinder off of the, um, the floor jack that I repaired. So we're gonna, we asked him, hey, can we clean this up for you? And he's like, yeah, go for it. So we're gonna try to do that. So here it is. And let's see where we get. First thing we're gonna do is take it over to a wire wheel on a drill press. And there you go. So yeah, we're gonna wire wheel it on the drill press. So let's kick that puppy on and see if we can clean it up. Then we're gonna dip it in some evapo schmoo, evaporus, yay. I'm not a corporate chill, but this stuff is awesome. If you've never used it, highly recommend. So yeah. And then uh, maybe give it a look of paint, maybe Japan it. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay. So here's after some wild wire wheeling. So you can see we picked up some numbers and good stuff. And we'll see. Next to the Evapo Schmoo. Sit tight. All right. So let's see how we've turned out. They've been sitting in there for a minute. Oh, shiny. That's way better than it was. So we'll give that a good rinse, soak for a second in some water. Put that bucket back. Get the lid back on her. There we go. So, I'll work in there, make sure that uh, all the stuff is off. I'll give them a dry. Oh yeah, look at that. That is way better. Drop forge steel, 14. Good stuff. Still got some of the old paint on there, but man, that looks way better than it did so let's see oh yeah look at that that's fantastic vapo rust for the win i love that stuff anyway we'll get these parts dried off and then uh see what else we need to do probably just um some oil and some paint and then get them back together might uh might go at this with um, maybe a grinding wheel or something, just kind of smooth up that spine of the handle. You can see where that's been beat on with a hammer or something over its lifetime. But yeah, good stuff. Back in a bit. All right, so what we have here is a nice, uh, turns out it's stamped. You can actually read the stamp now. Dunlap. Germany. Hopefully you can see that okay. So since it's marked Dunlap Germany, but it is fractional, it's kind of interesting. So 14 inches I figure is the length when it's fully extended and open. But yeah, it turned out quite nice. Um, nice little example of a... don't know if it would be pre-war or not. Um, you know, possible late 30s. But... Um, you know, because I think after the war, a lot of more marked drop forged West Germany, yada, yada, yada. And this one's just marked Dunlap Germany. So there we have it. Cheers. All right. Here's the final result. Final result of the Dunlap wrench. So did a little handle painting. Uh, not perfect, but pretty good. Pretty good. Um, let's see, took a very light sander to the hammer marks, um, the person that owns this, they, I asked them, well, first of all, I asked them if I could clean it up, but then the other thing I did is, um, I left some of the hammer marks in there because it belonged to their father, but I cleaned them up just enough to make it so that it's smooth on the hand now, so they're very happy with that, hopefully, and yeah, so there it is. Pretty clean. Lasts another hundred years. 
well, it's not that old, but you get the idea. Anyway, have a good one, folks. Cheers. <laughs>